Hello my friends, today we are going to edit autumn photos into Luminar Neo. But before we get to the edit, I just want to let you know if you're new to this channel, I want to say welcome and I want to let you know that I have a playlist with over a hundred tutorials in Luminar Neo. So if you need to go and watch those absolutely for free to catch up, please do so. And um, yep, let's get into today's tutorial. I have these images here. I have four images. I have this one, this one, this one, and this one. And this is a focus stack of this path I took in Acadia National Park this weekend. This is uh, Sur de Mont in Acadia National Park. And I'm going to take these images. As you can see here, they are raw images. And if I go to develop, you will see that has zero edits to it. So this is straight from the camera. But I want to take these four images into Photoshop just to focus stack them because you see this one, the focus is over here on the front. And then as I move through the next ones, the focus go more towards the back. And I want to create a focus stack for this and then we will take them into Luminar Neo and edit our final image. So in order to select all these images and send them into Photoshop, I will click on my first image, hold down shift, click on the last one and now all four images are selected. Then I will go into Photo, Edit In, and Open as Layers in Photoshop. Now all of our images are open into Photoshop as Layers, as you can see here. And the first thing I want to do before I focus stack them, I need to make sure they are aligned. So for that, I will select the first layer, hold down Shift, select the last layer. And now with all four layers selected, you need to go into Edit, Auto Align Layers and I'll keep it on auto, click OK. And now Photoshop will do its best and will align my layer. So then when I focus stack, everything kind of matches nicely. There we go. You see, I was just a tiny, tiny little bit like a pixel off. And now with the images still selected, all the layers selected, what I need to do is go into edit, auto blend layers. And here, make sure you're on stack, unless you're doing a panorama, but we're just stacking the focus. So it's on stack images. I will leave clicked on seamless tones and colors and click OK. And now focus stack is going to happen and we'll get focus from front all the way to the back. For those of you that are not Photoshop users and are just Luminar Neo users, just know that uh, Luminar will come out with an extension for focus stacking pretty soon. So you will be able to do all of this into Luminar Neo. So you see Photoshop created a mask and chose whatever it's in focus from each image and stack them. And now our image is um, sharp from front to back. To get rid of these transparent edges where the photos are not lined up, I'm just going to crop my image a little bit. I want to keep the original ratio and I'll just do a tiny crop just to get rid of those transparent pixels. So I will go with something like that. Click OK to accept the crop. And now I will flatten my image. So I'm working with just one layer to flatten an image, right click on a layer over here on the gray side of the layer. You see over here, don't click on the name or they will just give you the option to change the name. So right click on the gray side and flatten image. And now we're working with one layer only to send it to Luminar Neo. I would like to make a copy of it just so we have a duplicate in case of something goes wrong. So now with this layer one selected, I want to go to filter, Skyloom software, Luminar Neo. So now with the image into Luminar Neo, we'll go to edit and we'll start from the top. I will increase the exposure just a tiny little bit, add a little bit of smart contrast, maybe bring down the highlights a little bit, open up the shadows, not too much. It's already a pretty flat image. Then onto the curve tone, I do want to maybe darken it a little bit. And I'll add a little bit of an S curve just to give it a little bit of contrast, something like that. So let's see our image so far. This is the before, this is the after. I think we're going in the right direction. I want to go to enhance and maybe add some accent, not too much, because if you go too much, you see it kind of looks a little bit you know, cartoonish. So just a little bit. 
that is looking good. After we added the enhance, I want to go to landscape and maybe just add a little bit of golden hour. Not too much, something like that. And that is looking great. Now I do want to increase the saturation of these red leaves over here on the pad. I think the ones in the tree because they are lit by the sun, they're quite bright, but I want to increase the saturation of these ones. So for that, I will go into color, go into the saturation and take the reds up, maybe something like that. But then I will mask them with the brush and I will paint just on the pad because this is the ones I want to bring out. Great. And you see, this is the before and after, before and after. It just kind of brings it to life. Now, let's see, what else do we need to go to do? I'll go on to color and this time we'll go to the HSL. Into the HSL, I would like to go to Hume. And here we have two choices. The greens, we can either warm them up into yellows and now we get an all warm tone image. Or we can cool the greens and that will give us a little bit more separation between the greens and the warm tones um, foliage. I think for this example, I will cool them. So I'll move them just a little bit into the cyan, but then they look a little bit too neon. So I want to go into the saturation and reduce the saturation of the greens. Something like that. So let's see. This is the before, this is the after, they're just more toned down. And now while we are on the saturation, I want to increase the saturation of the yellows and the oranges. Maybe something like that. And that is looking great. I want to go into the hue and maybe shift the yellows a little bit into orange. Not too much. Something like that. And let's see. So far the image, this is the before, this is the after, before and after. Not bad. Another thing we can do is go into mood and apply a lot that is a warming lot. And one of the ones I like, it's Palm Spring. So you see that completely brightens the image. This is the before, this is the after. I think it's too much, you can reduce the opacity. Let's see. What if we use uh, maybe Long Beach? This is more toned down, but it's a little bit muddy. I'll go to the Palm Spring and I'll reduce the amount all the way to zero and then increase it, just give it a little bit to around nine. That is looking good. Now, another thing I wanna do is I wanna brighten the center a little bit and then add a vignette to the outside. To do that, I will go into the vignette. And here I will choose the subject. I'll go right here in the middle and then I'll take the amount down all the way to negative 100. I will open the advanced settings. I'll make the size small, something like that. The roundness, I kind of like it oval. I'll feather it to 100%. I will add a little bit of inner light. And then I'll move the amount to something that looks right. Maybe negative 30, 37. So let's see, this is the before and after the vignette, before and after. Let's see the whole image so far. This is our before, this is the after, before and after. Now, sometimes with foliage, you don't want everything to be so sharp. It's just a preference. So for that, you might want to go to a structure and take the structure down just to give it a little bit more hazy look. So you see this is before and after. Not a big difference, but sometimes it helps. I took structure to the negative 15. So let's see our image again. This is the before, this is the after, and that's how I would edit this image into Luminar Neo. I hope this was helpful and you learned something new. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Skylar Ewing. I'll see you in my next video.